Yeah, you can almost see the cows out there. Actually, not too bad shining out. You can't see the cows down there though. I figured I'd show you what number one's going to do this morning while I have to do some wiring and stuff for Becky. Dang it, can't see it. Uh, just below the barn blocking off between the lot and below the barn is three panels across there. She's got that opened up. And hey, you can see that. The manure barn's opened up. <laughs> she thinks I'm going to feed her or something. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I wish they'd hurry up and calf, but you know, they ain't going to come out till they come out. Usually we clean the calf barn out the front, put it in a spreader and go. When we used to have two running skid steers, there was a time or two, probably 20 times, Dad and I would uh, just hit it with both skid steers and take it out to the manure barn through the yard. Kind of makes a mess because, you know, you dribble a little bit. Well, she's going to try. I've done it this way before. She never has. She's going to try to scoop from the bottom. There's a board across that doorway. There's a, what is it, a three by 12. And she's opening gates up down below the barn right now so she can go through. Because it's actually a whole lot faster. It's a little harder to get a good scoop because you're coming uphill on concrete that's wet underneath. But um, she gets that board weaseled out, gets that rubber out of the way, and there's a gate right below the wall there that goes straight out. It's got to swing over against the wall. She can go from right there. And it's not too awful far to over there. It's only, what, about 400 feet, 500 feet, something like that. And if you see something moving in the screen, that's the swallows. I don't know how many nests they got over here, but there's a bunch of them. So, anyway, I thought I'd show you what she was going to get a start on, because, well, the bottom of that gate is in 6 to 8 inches. It's up flush with the <laughs> opening in the feeder on that side. Uh, this side isn't any different. The advantage she's got is right now it's not dry hard pack in here because they were in here crammed in here for so long it's damp enough that everything's loose. Because usually up in this corner it's an act of God to get the shit scraped off the concrete. But she's going to get to play with it. I'm going to get out of her way. I was really kind of hoping to show you her start in here, but maybe I'll get back and catch a little more of that later. Say, so in the meantime, i got to do some wiring. Oh, that's right. she got to clean underneath there because the gate she just opened is in line with that wood wall. And them being in that small area out there all winter, she's got to get that out of the way first. Hopefully it isn't too slick underneath out there for her. I think it's dry enough out there. At times it'd be nice to have a set of steel tracks, but then they aren't that good on the concrete, I don't think. I don't know. Never ran them before. Maybe one of these days. Maybe someday I'll just have a rubber track on. Ha! Yeah, right. Like I got 100 grand to throw into one. They might be more than that now. And yep, yep. She still thinks I'm going to give her something. Huh. Yeah? Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I told the farther I'm bending over, I'll be sitting on top of her. And, hey, I knew they had at least a nest in here. One right there on that rafter. That's the only one I see over here, though. There's a bee's nest up three boards and over a rafter. Hmm. Probably a whole bunch more over the top of that beam, too. We've had a couple paper nests in here make it a foot, foot and a half in diameter, and you're like, where are the bees coming from until you can finally find it because it's hidden? Okay. That's enough. Oh, five minutes already? Hmm.
how quiet that thing is. Man, that's like less than maybe a third of what my old one was. And look, it's even working. So, took a spoon bit and drilled into a couple of studs to make a passage for some wires so they'll actually reach. Had half the wall tore apart, so now I gotta put the wall back on. Yay. Been through the basements, try to get things straightened out. Yeah, only got so much stuff to work with, so. But I'm getting there. And number one's still going back and forth. Just guessing that she's uh, shutting down for a little bit. Because the only water these girls have is up here. I just happened to notice they were coming in. Have to notice that because I needed to find me some Romex and I got a wire roller here in the back barn. Happens to be where it's set and still had a little bit on it. Not a lot, but it had more than enough for what I gotta do. So they're all in, get them a little water. Some of them grabbing a bite of dry hay on the way by and Hitting the tubs there, if you can see that. I don't know how far she's gotten, but I haven't been over there. You know, 10 trips back and forth to the shop. Come to find Romex. So, but hey, I got the wires fished through all in one spot. I got a junction box mounted. I got the plug-in box mounted above it. And I found this morning that the other day Becky only had one turned off. I thought they were connected because when you pulled the wires, they seemed to be connected. No, one of them's dedicated for the heater that used to be there. Oh, there's my wire roller. Two old disc blades, piece of pipe in the middle. Uh, that clip holds this blade on. You take it off and slide a roll on. Works good. That clip just holds it on there. There's one on the other end, too, so you can take it off to reload it. Makes a little noise when you unroll, but like I said, it works good. And if I remember right, I'll put the little clip that Becky did in here somewhere. Maybe you've already seen it. Maybe it's yet to come. A card in the mail. And, and. Hold on, hold on. She's trying to show them. Be patient. Hey, the, the card's kind of like the comments. Lots of words. Hi, Pete Barnes. Look you there. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you very much, Nelson. That'll go up on the shop door here in a bit. Yes, it will. I don't know if I'll get it on there today or not. Don't show I, me. I got to get back over. I won't. I won't show ah! you at all. It just... So, here's what he had to say. He says, Ed, you know how long winded I can get, so I will try to keep it short. Just wanted to begin with a huge thank you for all you do and have done for me and the channel. You have been here from the beginning and always continue to support. I look forward to the daily videos and updates on your channel. Friendships are rare these days, especially with complete strangers. But you, sir, cut from a different cloth. Mad respect for that and everything you are about. Thank you for all you do to keep food coming to all of, to us all. Hello to the wife, number one and number two. Look Hello. forward to years of friendship, sir. Thank you again, Nelson, IP Farms. Thank you very much, Nelson. I really, 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 really appreciate that. In the box, he is working on the electrical behind the cabinet so we can put the cabinet back and so I can start putting food and stuff into the cabinet. Then I can work on the floor. That's the plan. So right now, Fine. say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. So right now, if you share that to me, hi everybody. And me, I'm kind of supervising him, I think, right this second, trying to figure out what I can do while I'm waiting for him because I really can't do much. So, ooh, not in focus real well. So that is what is happening here. Baby's in the barn. Hey, a piece of twine laying down here. I'm not going to try to get down here and pick it up. Well, she got a good start today. Made it to the walkway anyway. 
and actually got them to come in so they'd get some grain. This is the first time this group's been in at all since they went out. And yeah, she's not quite half done because the volume over here is pretty much the same as what's over there total. But hey, I figured I'd tell you some cows in a little cleaner barn. Still not sure why she makes short days all the time. And I thought, well, she did. Feed her full of grain and one cow and one calf up here eating it. Hopefully she don't eat too damn much of it all at once and make herself sick. And We've had that happen before. The other end of the barn where the calves are one year. The calves got fed some grain in there and then we kicked them out and put a cow in there. And uh, the cow ate it all. And we almost lost her. But... Yeah, she got a pretty good trail out there. You can't see it. Stinking sun's got to screw that up. But she made a lot of trips back and forth. So that's pretty much the day. Uh, I finished putting the cabinet in. It's in and fastened to one wall, but I could not find a stud to go into the other wall. Don't know why. So I'm going to go look for it again. It is it's in place. Not done. Not done. I got to make a top piece for it. Floor's not done. And of course, yeah, you know the floor's not done, mm -hmm. and but the dog's good mm -hmm. with the floor being what it is. Mm -hmm. We're working on. And I got one more little clip I got to make, and then I'll get this video up tonight. Hey, okay, end of the video. There it is. IP Farms Incorporated, IH, established 1979. Next to making it happen, burning dinosaurs. American Tradesman, Real Life with Ron, Thomas Farms TN, Rick Bork, Rick Bork. Hey, you know, I had to get him twice. He gave me two stickers and a bunch of Dutch Brothers stickers and a yellow jacket buzzing me and yeah, a few of the things we've put on stuff over the years. So there you go, Nelson. Thank you. It is up. Thanks for watching, everybody. I forgot to mention, Greasy Paws Garage, which is now getting Greasy Garage or something like that. But he hasn't put anything up in over a month, so I'm hoping he's all right. I've gone back and commented on some of his videos to try to rattle his cage, but have heard nothing from him. So, you know how that goes. Hopefully he's good.